we will never support Tinubu's outrageous appointment of the Yorubas, Afeni Fere says. <laughs> okay, we understand, and I'm sure this is coming on the heels of uh, the replacement of uh, uh, Lieutenant General Lagbaja, the Chief of Army Staff that is currently on the sick bed and uh, cannot work uh, anymore for now. Um, we understand that while he was there, the military chiefs came together and brought an Aosa man uh, as an acting army chief of staff, uh, chief of army staff. Okay, and uh, just shortly after then, then they appointed another Yoruba man as another acting uh, army chief of uh, chief of army staff. Okay. So, and they removed the other Aosa man, and that Aosa man will be very angry. Um, this one, that Aosa man that uh, they initially appointed is actually senior in the military to this one that Tinubu has appointed. So, with what is this, it is again a tribal thing, nepotism and tribalism. Well, the Northerners did it during the Buhari time. For Buhari eight years, they had, they gave chunk, chunks of the appointments to the, to the Northerners. So, that is what uh, Tinubu and the universe in power are also replicating. So I don't know how this will go. But these affairs are trying to be fair to ensure there's equity, justice, and fairness in all political positions. So, but with the Yorubas support this affairs group, because I understand affairs group, affairs is already divided. There's affairs and there's new affairs. So, but this group are the old ones. I'm sure these are the ones that are in alignment with Pa Ayo Adebanjo that are saying the truth about the state of the nation. But I tell you, they will give them water, water now from outside. But again, let me go into the details to hear exactly um, what uh, they are saying. So the Pan Yoruba Sociocultural Group, Afeni Fere, has distanced itself from what is described as President Bola Tinubu's bias for the Yoruba in federal appointment. The group insisted that they do not support Tinubu for appointing Yorubas as head of all arms of the criminal justice system and other sectors. Abi, the judiciary, because if you look at Tinubu's appointment, the chief of army staff, I think the chief of defense staff, uh, then if you go to judiciary, the CJN that left the Yoruba man, the one that replaced him is also another Yoruba woman. If you go to, it's only INEC chairman that is also now. Every other place is Yoruba. CBN is Yoruba. Uh, uh, EFCC is Yoruba. Everywhere is Yoruba. Well, I felt the shared his reservation in a statement uh, by East leader and the National Public Secretary Ayo Adebanjo hmm, and Justice Falaye, respectively, in Ibadan, the Oyo State Capital, on Friday. Okay, so Ayo Adebanjo is still there. Her publicity secretary, Ayo Adebanjo, how can old man like this be publicity secretary? They need to put young people there now. This man is too old. He's just supposed to be like a dust statesman at the back end, overseeing what is happening. They insisted that the development threatened the age-long inter-ethnic relationship and peaceful coexistence in Nigeria. And well, Aosa did it. They, that's what somebody is going to say. The statement partly reads, We can never condone the outrageous bias by Tinubu to make Yoruba's head of all arms of the criminal justice system, EFCC, DSS, Attorney General and Chief Justice, the Economy, Coordinating Minister of Economy, the CBN, the Finance, the Blue Economy, Digital Economy, Trade, Industries and Investment, Bank of Industry, Solid Minerals, as well as the force, Forces, Armed Police, Custom Immigration, and DSS. All of them are Yorubas. Ha! Now, man. The Fenifere can't use several decades to fight against Fulani hegemony only to support Yoruba or any other hegemony. So, Afeni Fere bitterly complained that President Buhari's Northern hegemony can't remain mute on ethnic he uh, hegemony as being perpetrated by Tinubu right now. So, Buhari was accused of bias for the North, with three regions not to talk of Tinubu bias, not for the South, but a single ethnic and single region. Our progenitor, Chief Obafemi Awolowo, once threatened to curse anyone that tied Afenifere to Yoruba only. Mm. So the group explained that it adheres to 
clear-cut principles of being social democ social democrats and would not support autocrat leaders so by the virtue of our name afenifere meaning those that want good for all humans and as omoluabi yorubas we won't support any government that engages in undemocratic practices nor would we support a government whose first year pushed over 14 million people into poverty with anti-people policies that is Tinubu's government i'm telling you i'm telling you the government is a failure from every side and that is true so president Tinubu is not stranger to a fenifere but having backed him into power in 1999 and witnessed his 24 years uh, president in lagos it would have been wicked and morally irresponsible to support him into power as president so this was why the true affair uh, supported peter obi and was in charge of his presidential campaign uh, headed by ake oshintoku and affair chieftain the statement uh, the statement added <laughs> okay so with what we are seeing now the Fenifers have spoken, and uh, I'm sure this must be coming from Paya Devanjo, but it's only him that has the lever to say things like this. The rest of Fenifers, uh, they are they, they, I think they lack the boldness of uh, this kind of uh, uh, um, this kind of statement. They don't they don't have the they are lily lever to make this kind of statement. So from what they are saying now, they have brought out all the misdeeds and uh, all the things that this government is doing on that Tinubu, all the ethnic biasness towards the Yorubas, and all the appointments, you can see the list of all the critical appointments in Nigeria have been given to the Yorubas. And you know what? Houses are just keeping quiet. They just don't want to say anything because they had their eight years under Buhari, and they are waiting for another eight years to reverse all of these things and do their own thing again. But is this how we're going to continue in Nigeria? Because what is happening now is the when the north is there they will do what they want to plunder the nation when the south is there they will do what they want to plunder the nation and then leaving and these are very few opportune uh, 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 politicians in nigeria that are doing these things less than 0.01 percent of the entire population of nigeria they are the people doing this thing now eh? meanwhile over 200 million nigerians are wallowing in abject poverty they don't care it is how they, they just started though this was just started what just one and a half year into office or less they are already working on how to work 2027 and that is the reason for all of this uh, positioning of people to support the uh, second term agenda come 2027 quite an unfortunate uh, situation i'm telling you so now if you go into the comment section somebody is saying is it now they know? Hmm. Buhari started it, or Tinubu perfected it. So one day it will be the turn of Ndigbo. Um, we will all know what good governance is all about. That is true. We are waiting. Tinubu has set a very bad precedent in Nigeria. Tribal by God precedent. Any ethnic group that enter will appoint his uh, tribesmen uh, only and tribesmen only and trust is tribesmen only. Tinubu system was ever in Nigerian history. Well, that is what it is. You have said it. Any group that enter will want to, you know, trust his own tribesmen and give everything to his own tribesmen. That is exactly what um, uh, Buhari did by setting up his kitchen cabinet and plundered Nigeria for eight years. Quite unfortunate. So thank you for listening. Let's have a comment over what the affair is have said about Tinubu's uh, biased appointment.